Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this edition of Vlog with Daisy Victoria. Hey. And Oh, Misha Von Mogamu. So are you having a good time today? I'm having a blast. So I'm excited are you? though. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Hey Sun Space Sun. I'm Daisy Victoria. Welcome to Sherwood Forest Fair. We're here on a beautiful Sunday fun day, and we're gonna have some fun. We've come to Sherwood Forest Fair today, dressed in our ancient Minoan garb, as that befits the weather. Today it is very warm, though I have added a straw hat so that the sun does not kill me, because that would be sad. What's up, camera? Yeah. Good luck to the half gallon, good luck to the barley mow. Good luck! Charlie, good luck to the half gallon, good luck to the barley mow. Oh, the half gallon pint, but half a pint chill, half a jill, quarter jill, nip again, and the rum hole. Here's good luck. Luck to the barley mow. Up that leaf there was a nest, rare nest or at the nest. Nest in the leaf and the leaf and the twig and the twig and the branch and the branch and the limb and the limb and the tree and the tree and the hole and the hole and the bottom and the bottom down in that valley. Let's take a walk around the fair and see what's here. trees here grow costumes. See, the, the, the problem with these poor folks <laughs> is that they stood in the wrong side of a sword, which is, <laughs> which is, usually, the, uh, which is usually the wrong thing to do, except, except for Steve. <laughs> Steve down there then made the mistake of touching Opal's ears without her consent, which oh, is never no. a good thing. But uh, usually most, most folks ignore us because the, uh, you know, the smell it gets a bit much sometimes, but the, uh, you know, the, the, main, the main thing is what the, if anyone can help us, we're short on elderberries. Oh! Because <laughs> we used to use the elderberries to mask the smell, but, uh, but so the, the problem is this, this season, uh, Thorin, the maker of the, uh, the mead, he, he took the, all of the elderberries from the whole area oh to my. make a new mead called Elder's Mead. Oh. Available to all good pubs, <laughs> should we say. But so we, we, we kind of forgive him, but we wish he'd left us some. So, because everyone just gives us such a wide berth, we can't play with them anymore. Right. So. <laughs>
actually, I don't know where they are. Oh, this is where Sam is, the Lionheart Tavern. Oh, here's the entrance. So we went like up over here to the right. There's the dragon. We're somewhere, oh, blacksmith. We're like in here somewhere, I think. <laughs> oh, right here. We're right here. Oh, yeah, the drone too. Perfect. <laughs> One of the great things about Sherwood is that they encourage artisan crafts. And in fact, sometimes you see the vendors themselves preparing beautiful artisan crafts. This is so because it was, uh, I left the towel open and it dried out. Oh, I see. You so you re kind of... it. Oh, yeah. So that's how you rehydrate it. Kind yeah, of. I'm just kind of coning it up and it, 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 it all mixes together by doing that. I think this cool. is good enough. If you have a hard seam going through it, then when you start to pull with it, it'll make it get lopsided. right now because it's dry and warm oh, enough yeah. that I'll be able to finish them before I go home tonight. That's perfect. That's what we do. Perfect. And we're playing historical bagpipes, uh, historical music on historical bagpipes. There's something about bagpipes and drums. It's just full It just energy. gets you. It's mm. just like, it's vulgar mood. Mm, yeah, exactly. And it puts you in a good mood. How have things transitioned for you with the pandemic? And like, how are you getting back into a new rhythm now? That's a great question. When the pandemic hit, I was in, uh, we were performing in Florida. And all of us, all of my colleagues, all of the crafters, you know, we were like, what do we do now? You know, our entire season was shot. You know, we started live streaming. We did a full year on Facebook until we discovered that Facebook is the worst platform for live streaming. Uh, no offense, Facebook, but you, you know, you do compress everything and the sound is horrible. We tried a little bit of, of um, YouTube. But I wasn't quite happy with that either, and then somebody suggested Twitch. Mm -hmm. So we've been on Twitch now for over a year, and loving it. It's a great platform. Uh, the tools are, you know, great, and uh, the quality is HD, so we get HD video and sound. Uh, the hardest part we have is making sure we have enough signal to get a good upload, because we're out in the middle of a forest, and the internet is a challenge when you're on the road. But we, uh, we kept it up and now at this point we're over 100 episodes uh, just started our third season of live streaming and uh, it's great it's a great opportunity and the and what turned out to be uh, the most amazing thing is um, the community so when in the beginning it's like oh my god we got to do something what are we going to do let's try live streaming people give us money okay so we did that and that worked but really quickly caught on that the audience was there because they needed that community too and it was amazing. I, I love doing that because it's a great way to connect with the community. It keeps us on our toes. It means we're constantly working through new music or digging out older music. Like we did, our program last week was a lot of fun because we actually dug up some music that we hadn't played in a little bit and just had fun kind of, you know, dusting it off and rearranging it a little bit. And so the constant pressure of doing something every week 
really does that. And then if nothing else, we get a little practice at first. Um, oh, did so you film fun. some of the dancing? Yeah, I got some of the dancing. Fantastic. They're a great troupe. They come out of Arkansas. Oh, yeah. And we work with them at the Oklahoma Renaissance Festival, which is where we're going next. Oh, so, nice. So they're coming out for a little visit here, but we get a chance to work with them for six weeks in Oklahoma. And I love them. I think they're just they're one of the uh, very talented group, and they do a great job, and they interpret our music so well. Their name is Terra Nova Troop, and you can find them on Facebook. Everybody, you can catch Bolgamut not only in person at a Renaissance festival near you, but also online live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Bolgamut Live. So much. Can I go Are take a nap now? I am. Are you? I am. Here, I'm just going to do this so there's no hands. There you go. Oh. So, you're very brave because I just got done doing a very smelly. Yeah, he's smelly. I, I'm sure I smell like well, somebody's toes. I mean, I'm from the SCA, so I oh, used to Oh, she's used to it. Yeah, I'm used to it. I used to do combat archery and sword and board. Oh my god. So you're so below the smelly threshold. Oh, give me a couple hours. I'll crank it up. is done this is your chance people to go wild with it Somebody's in trouble. I didn't keep out. Welcome to the Silk Road Rest Stop. How may I serve thee? <laughs> I Welcome love to it the Silk so Road Rest Stop. Feast your eyes upon our many wares from many wares. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Welcome to the Silk Road Rest Stop. How may I serve thee? You know I'm gonna find the SCA demo at the Medieval Fair. I might remember that. One. Yeah. <laughs> well, trust me. Once, once you've met me, nobody ever. People have tried to forget that I exist. They just, they just can't. This is the SCA. This is my new. Home. I'm so excited. I'm excited to make new SCA friends here. Uh, I'm Giovanni Antonio Di Napoli. Uh, I've been, I started playing the SCA probably 28 years ago, and I met, I, I found the SCA through the Texas Renaissance Festival. Um, so it's always nice to be able to come out and introduce other people to it, which is what we try to do through our demo. I do the heavy fighting, uh, so I've got my, my kit out, and we had some fighting demos earlier today. I uh, love to herald and uh, bardic and, and many other things. And so we've had people out here sharing all of our passions and, and introducing new folks to what we do, and it's been a lot of fun. I'm Baron Goldberg of St. Goliath. I've been playing in the SA for almost 30 years. God. Do bardic, rapier, rapier, archery, leatherworking, all the hobbies. Um, I start. I got started when a friend of mine said, 
hey, we're going to this small little event that's going to be um, that's going to be about a week or so in Pennsylvania. Would you like to come? And I've been hooked ever since. Uh, it's it's a great place to meet people. The SCA is more of a family to me than even some even my own family. I I have lifelong friends that I've made in the SCA. I'm Giovanni, and this is my uh, chivalric fighting kit. Uh, this is uh, it's all an example of a roughly 14th century Italian style of armor. This is a, a barboot uh, helm. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily have had the uh, cutouts, but that's uh, for airflow and to make it comfortable on me. Um, this is all brand new set. You can see the the fluted legs um, that are articulated. It's a three quarter uh, leg. Uh, and the arms have the matched fluting, uh, and those will uh, attach to my uh, armor points to help support them. Uh, and then this is my Curious uh, that I, I use uh, for my chest armor, uh, and it's, it's a lot of fun. you have any uh, recommendations for somebody getting started off and as far as how to piece together a set? Spend good time in the loner gear your local groups will have and learn what works for you. Different different people and different uh, bodies will find different types of armor work for them. Uh, and, and depending on your persona, you might want to match things to that. Uh, so you take, take your time, don't rush into a purchase. Uh, there's many people who have things that they'll, they'll help lend to you and while you're learning. Um, and just make sure that your purchases are going to be the right thing for you. You know, it's interesting to see that we've time traveled here to the Middle Ages and about 2,000 years in the future, I really would have expected that their technology would be a lot more advanced than it is. I'm actually rather underwhelmed. Where are the iPods? That's what I'm saying. Where are Where's the, iPods? the iPhones? Where's the iPhones? Like, it's been 2,000 years. You'd think that, that they could have gotten more progress in 2,000 years. Seriously, like from the stuff we have on the island of Crete, you know, where I'm from, in 1500 BC. Cheers. <laughs> she floats into frame. <laughs> like the electric guitar you did back then? That wasn't what you were anticipating. <laughs> I think that that... <laughs> and, My favorite and, part of the medieval festival. And, and we're, we're, so, we're, we're professional. We're professional. We get to hang out. But I suspect that our, yeah. our ancestors, the Neanderthals, they just kind of went smudge, smudge, done. Right? <laughs> They're it. like, that's good. That's, that's good. why the paintings are so accurate. Yes. You know? You've got, they just, <laughs> real quick, that's exactly what it looked oh, like. Oh, you mean like they took, hey, Ugh, come here. Yeah. And then they put They're paint like, on and then went hey, poof, right against the wall. Hey, it looks just and like it. Just like it. Behold the castle of Sherwood. <laughs> the castle is this really cool, and I do mean cool, it's air conditioned structure that you can go inside, and they also do private events in there, which is pretty cool. Sherwood Forest Fair also has some of the classic entertainment like the joust and combat. Since we always see that at every Renaissance festival, we kind of focused on seeing the other stuff this time. But if you do like that sort of stuff, that is there as well, and it is sure to entertain. And now it's time for Pun Time with Daisy. This is gorgeous. What you doing tonight? 
Oh, I was just thinking about hitting up the tavern this evening. You want to join me? We had such a fun day today at the Sherwood Forest Fair. It was so amazing. As always, make sure you find me on all the social medias as Daisy Victoria. My website is daisyvictoria.com. And thank you so much to all my patrons who help me to continue creating cool stuff. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Just wave to Jakob now until he pushes the button. Yeah, it's just like our lives. <laughs>